Hello everyone, Andrea here with I Dream of Crafting. Today is going to be a uh, maybe a short tutorial, medium tutorial, on how to make a duct tape sandals. Um, I've already have one completed. Um, the tutorial will be on how to make the second one, but I will go through all the steps so you can make a pair of your own. Um, I decided to make duct tape sandals. I usually don't wear sandals or slippers. Um, but I needed some for my Halloween costume, and I am notoriously horrible at finding shoes. <laughs> so I decided to just make my own, and it was, you know, cheaper, of course. So, um, the supplies you will need for um, duct tape sandals, of course, you will need duct tape. Um, I would go with at least two different colors, but you can, you know, you can go as many as you like. Um, a cutting board, an X-Acto knife. Um, cardboard, don't go too thick. Um, but, or you can use, um, you can use like foam or whatever you want, you know, because you're going to be standing on it. Um, so whatever you want to, um, use as your sole of the shoe, you can use rubber, um, you know, the foam, you can, uh, the foam you get at craft stores, the, uh, not the real soft foam, obviously, but something a little more substantial so that you can stand on it. Uh, you will, you might need a ruler, maybe, scissors, definitely, and some type of pen, pencil, or marker, it really doesn't matter. Uh, so let's get started. Alright, so, um, I have already cut out my templates. This is my left foot, obviously, because it has an L. This is my right foot. So um, this is already done, as you can tell, and um, I I like the slippers that have the um, just a f you know the thin or not thin but the stripper across like this. Um, the regular sandal that you think of with the toe, um, I can't wear those because they um, will make my feet cramp up. So that is also why it's really hard for me to find sandals um, in the store. So. Um, which is also another reason why I decided to just make mine. So here is my finished one. It actually, it's actually really good, and it it actually um, it's actually kind of comfortable too. It's kind of weird, but so what I did is you can totally just put your foot on a piece of cardboard and then trace around your foot. I would leave at least a half an inch around your foot when you're doing this. But what I did is I just used one of my sandals that I already have. And I just traced around that because I know these fit. I know these are comfortable. So that's what I did. And then, of course, be sure to mark, you know, left and right because it does get a little confusing. Um, it took me a couple minutes to remember which one is which, which is why I marked them. But that is all you will need your pencil for is to just mark and your scissors, of course, to cut around. Now, once you get to this point, um, you're going to take whatever color or colors you want your, um, you know, your actual shoe part to be. And um, this is where you can go crazy with it. For my, for my Halloween costume, I just need a plain Japanese style looking sandal because mine is, my, my uh, Halloween cos costume is a um, kimono version of Eternal, T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costume. Um, who knows, maybe I'll put it on and show you guys at the end of the video. I, I haven't decided. But that's why I just need a, you know, s blank looking, you know, a Japanese style looking um, old shoe. But you can make yours whatever you want, use whatever color, um, use whatever pattern you want. It, it is completely up to you. I'm just going to use this beige color right here. And um, you're just going to cut out strips of tape and go you know completely cover your shoe um, I like to start on the front side first and wrap around and I will show you how I do that so the the top of the shoe is a bit interesting to get around so I like to just put leave um, you know about a half an inch three quarters of an inch on top and then I'm just going to take my knife and make slits. This is very similar to how we would put together a uh, what is it? A pencil holder. Very similar. Um, you're just going to make these slits down the down the um, length of the 
tape and then after that's all done then you're going to take one at a time and you're going to fold it over and this is what you're going to do for the entire shoe you're just going to set this down you're going to set the tape down on the front so that it's nice and uh, neat on the front then you're going to make these slits in your tape so that it can wrap around without um, bul uh, bulging up and so you can go around this nice now don't worry if you get these little teeth here um, you can either smooth them down if you want or we will have to do some trimming at the end of our uh, shoe to make it all pretty and you can just trim these off so um, just continue on with um, laying your tape down and folding it over and then we will I will come back and tell you or show you what to do next All right, so now that you have the um, entire front of your sandal covered, what uh, the next step is you want to take another, you know, ho hopefully a secondary color, um, and unless you're doing, you know, a pattern and you want the pattern to be the strip, whatever you want. I decided to go with white since that is like a traditional Japanese, you know, a color for the strip. Now, if you know what I'm talking about, a Japanese sandal, it is the one where it goes between the toes, but like I said, I can't wear those. So I used white and I made, since I'm making my sandal with this kind of cuff looking thing, I just took two strips of tape. Now this is completely um, where you're going to have to do some work. Um, I cannot tell you how long to make your strip because everyone's foot is different and everyone likes, you know, likes things looser or tighter you know so you're gonna just have to take a take your best guess and um, my um, my best advice is to make it bigger than you think um, I, I originally had made my strip about 14 inches um, and then I ended up needed needing only like 11 like 10 and 3 quarters so um, you know make it a little bit longer than you think and then you can always just cut it but for this cuff um, I just made, uh, it's just a double sided tape, so I made one that was um, 11 and then 12 and then I just stuck it on and then I folded it over so I didn't have any sticky showing. And um, I will make another tutorial on the sandals if, every, if anyone wants, showing how to do the actual, you know, actual sandal where it goes between your toes, if anyone wants that. So. Um, here though you're gonna take your uh, cuff and I have some uh, scrap tape here so I'm gonna take a little bit and I like my I like my strip or my um what do you call it my cuff thing to go a little bit lower as you can see like my toes would be up here so it's not like right here I like it a little bit kind of where the um, the side of your foot is so I'm going to put this about here and secure it with a piece of tape and now since this is my left foot now this is where you're gonna have to just put it let's see mm -hmm. there we go alright so you're just gonna have to put this on your foot 
and wrap this around as best you can you know as tight as you want it or as tight as you think you want it I like mine tight so oopsies so I'm gonna trim just a little bit off just a tiny bit and then I'm gonna take this other piece of tape Woo! other piece of tape here I am dropping everything today and then I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to put it on my foot. Wrap it around as tight as I think it'll work. And then secure it. And then here's where you get to try it on for the first time. So just lay it on the floor. And put your foot through it. And that is pretty good. So you can get up and walk, you know, see how it is. And that's pretty good. So, we're going to bring our table back now. Move this up. There we go. All right. So now that you have that secured, it's a little off. Oopsies. So I'm just going to move it down. Like that. Okay. Alright, now that you have it secured where you want it, now we're going to cover up this back side. So it's going to be very similar to the way we did before. Um, this time don't cut off so much tape though to cover the back because we're not going we're not going to fold it over because obviously you want this side to be your present, you know, you want it to look good. So I cut off anywhere from three to four inches oopsies, of tape. There we go. And this is just covering all these little pieces up and securing this because as you can see, as you can see it's coming up off the shoe you want it to be down so we're gonna cut three to four inch pieces of tape it doesn't have to be too accurate because we're just going to be trimming this anyway so the easiest way I found to do this is to actually put it up like lean it up so it's leaning against something and then whoopsies just place your tape and as you can see we have some overlap here but like I said we're not going to fold that over so just leave that up leave that alone for a second and just continue on continue covering your sandal Now that you have your sandal completely covered on the bottom here, what we're going to do is we're simply going to take our scissors and we're going to cut out, cut off all this excess you see around here. And of course, this is the time that you can take off any, like, you know, these things right here that are formed when you fold over the tape. So yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. You just go around the edge and cut off all the sticky. Sometimes come back and use your exacto knife, especially around your around your um, strap here.
All right, and that is a finished slipper or sandal, however you want. So, all right, so there we go, two slippers out of duct tape and cardboard. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope to see you in the next video.